Hello guys, my name is Nate Tosafix, and today we're doing another boss move. And this guy is called uh, Complexity Danny Soundblaster. So he was faking as a comp complexity player, which he is obviously not. And uh, look how he only aims for the fucking legs and the stomach. That just goes to show that he's probably not a very experienced player. But still, he does go on to get 26 kills, which is quite a few. And as you can see here, he's kind of attacking the bomb site, but not really. Picks up a P90 and stands too close to the bomb with really low HP. That just also goes to show how incredibly stupid he ha he must be. I mean, he can't be very experienced. Notice how he turns here in a second, because he doesn't see anyone. And then he turns to look through the wall and see where the players are. And that's a pretty good indicator that he probably is cheating. And also look how he's been standing still all the time. And then he moves the exact second that a guy comes close to him. Um, in this clip, he sprays the guy and just keeps spraying while running. It's pretty lucky and I've sped up this part. But um, look how he keeps shooting to the left because there's a guy on the left. But now he shoots to the right and there's actually a guy to the right. How he would even think to shoot at the right even though he can only see an arm if you actually peek and stand and look. It's just uh, stupid. And also look at this clip where he... You can just see that he knows the enemy is there. He simply positions things... Uh, he positions himself so that he cannot get shot. And that is pretty fucking disgusting. Also, here is a uh, eco round from the terrorists. And he peeks there. And... You can just kind of know, you can just kind of see that he knows where the enemies are. He tries to shoot this guy, and then pre-fire peeks this guy. And uh, a, a little misclick there, but you can just see he, he knows he's there. And he starts to reload, and uh, jumps away because he can see the guy slow walking. And um, just another proof of his great, great logic here is that he has a bison on a uh, buy round from the seas, which is just... Something you should never, ever, ever do. And uh, this is supreme matchmaking. This guy was supreme, I do believe. So it's kind of... Uh, there's no real reason to believe that this is actually real. And that he's he has this poor movement, this poor aim, and this poor logic, and still has made it here. Gets flashed from inside. There's a smoke on outside. Hasn't checked silo. Goes out to pick up another orb. Why would you go out and pick the exact same weapon? He wanted a better skin, I guess. <laughs> and um, misses a shot there, but he peeks the insect exact second. A guy actually slow walks through the hut, and he has no reason to, really. Um, he knows the guy is still there, and uh, he knows that there are still a few enemies around. And the guy up to the right is actually my mate, X-Trace, and um, I ended up against him uh, for some reason. And look how he waits for him to come close, and as soon as he's close enough, he goes up and peeks. And then he thinks, okay, the terrorists are probably still in lobby, but uh, what he doesn't know is that they have actually rotated to ramp. And look at this shot! He thinks he's in front of the wall, but he's actually behind the wall, so he tries to pre-fire a guy, but he actually is behind a wall. And then he shoulder peeks this guy, and he, he knows he's there now, that's common sense. But why is he still not peeking? He could have ran out because he saw the guy run down there, but he still knows that there's another guy spotting and some dying. And uh, just again goes to show how poor his war hacking abilities are because he can't fly. He gets dinked through a wall and then just pushes a smoke <laughs> out of nowhere after emptying a mag. And that is never the first spot you're going to peek when you push there. Also, here's the uh, terrorist pistol round. He jumps uh, across with a knife, and then knows the exact spot that this guy is in. Also, shoulder peeks him here. On the next spot, he's moved a f pretty great distance, but still knows exactly where he is. Waiting for the slow walk there, and I'm sorry for my Facebook. Um, but wait waiting for the slow walking player coming cat. And also, it's, it's not done here. He goes to main, and just simply waits for him to slow walk out red. Pretty fucking insane, if I should say so. And then he knows that there's a guy on top of it, so he pretty much pre-fires him. And he knows that there's a guy pushing radio all of a sudden. And he knows that he's on the right side. <laughs> and that is uh, not clean at all. But uh, yeah, look at this clip, guys. This guy, he's pretty much just like... Uh, yeah, I'm just passing by, good sir. Just casually passing by. And he doesn't even 
notice him uh, because he already has an eye on this guy. Uh, he had his focus on a guy who was behind a wall, so he didn't notice the guy running by. And that's also a really common wall hacker mistake. <laughs> and as you can see here, he tries to actually shoot a guy through full smoke, but it uh, doesn't end there because... Um, in a second here, I think he will actually go on to shoot a man through his smoke, so he will get his smoke kill. And as you can see, it's it really seems that like he knows that there's a guy there. And also, the guy jumps down to hut, and um, this guy just runs out and shoots through hut. Really weird. And uh, the door is naded and main is smoked, but he still manages to pick off this guy through full smoke all the way down to garage. Pretty well done, Danny, I must say. You're a pretty good player. And uh, is ready for that. And is also ready for the guy jumping up ladder here. And he knows he needs to go away because there's a guy pushing on top of her, On top of uh, Inside Catwalk or whatever it's called. And look how long he waits here. It's just like he knows that there's a guy close to main. But he doesn't have a lot of time, so he needs to go here. And uh, gets the first shot. Decent, decent. Plants the bomb and the guy fakes his run. And look how he's aiming at the side that he's not on and then he decides to push. Could be a coincidence, but combining all these things, I don't think there's any coincidence. Also, look at this one. And look how he tries to shoot him through the door. You can just see how he knows he's there. He switches spot. He switches his position and he still tries to shoot him through the door. And that makes absolutely no sense. He can't explain that in any way, shape or form. And um, the reason why I bust people, the people I bust, I only bust like this guy because he said that, um, well, I do, do not cheat at all. And I mean, if they just say, okay, I cheat, cool enough, I know you're cheating, he knows he's cheating, yeah, alright. But this guy, I mean, look at how he... He fucking checks that corner, even though he knows that he's down there. And also this pre-fire, it's not like a common spot at all. Really weird. But as said, this guy said that he was not cheating at all, and that's just enough reason for me to bust him, because maybe he'll learn something from this. Also, he pre-fires, and now my phone is actually ringing. This is going really great. Um, I'll check it in a second here, but I'm still doing this commentary, so I got it. Go on, and um, hope you can't hear it, but uh, he checks catwalk first, and there's mm, pretty much just a guy waiting there, and uh, as you can see, he went 25 racks, and uh, here's my verdict, I uh, decided to go this way, show you a picture of Overwatch, it's obviously not Overwatch, this was from a game I played and recorded all the rounds, but... Uh, I just thought that this would be a nice way for you to see what my verdict is. So, um, aim assistance, uh, not enough evidence. Uh, vision assistance, like wall hacking, yeah, evident beyond a res any reasonable doubt. And external cheating, like bunny hop hack and such. No, I wouldn't say he did have any of those. Um, and also griefing, nah, he wasn't griefing at all. But uh, unfortunately, I couldn't kick him from my game. He was, as you could probably tell, on my team. But uh, my team would not let me kick him. And it was actually really sad because I was playing against a bunch of mates. But, um, yeah. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I hope that you can actually see that this guy is cheating. I said he said he was, he stated that he was not cheating at all. Which is uh, a complete fucking lie. And, uh... Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of rounds, and I could have taken a lot more rounds that were also pretty, well, it was also pretty clear that he was cheating, but, uh, I mean, it wouldn't make sense. The video is almost at 10 minutes now, and I just couldn't fit in any more scenes. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Please leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't. My name is Nate Tosafix, and I'll see you in the next video.